2B2T is a very hard server to conquer and to survive on alone. So today I'm going to be discussing the best mods and hacks that I use on the server to survive. This is also good for newer players as I myself is also a newer player. So please sit back and enjoy. The first mod on this list is one that I started using very recently. The mod is Journey Map. Journey Map essentially makes it to where you can load an overhead image of the entire map of where you've been and the chunks you've loaded before. This helps me know where I've explored before, if I've been to a certain area on 2B2T before, and on how I can help to see unloaded chunks since the map actively loads chunks that you don't render. You can also set waypoints with Journey Map. So in case someone sends you coordinates to a base to check out or griefing, or overall just a place you'd like to go, you can set that waypoint and go on your way. I highly recommend this mod for explorers or base hunters that want to explore the server in that nomadic lifestyle. So please, if you want to have this mod, I'll have it in the description to go check it out. Tired of taking a break from 2B2T to get up and do something and then come back to see yourself waiting in the queue again just to wait there for hours on end just to get back into the server? Well, have I got the hack for you, my friend. Anti-AFK. This is perfect if you cannot afford queue priority. All you have to do is set it up to your liking, set a delay time on when you think it should start, depending on how long you've been away from your keyboard for. It can range from anywhere from five seconds to three whole minutes, which is perfect because you never have to worry about turning anti-AFK on since it'll do it automatically. Say you're base hunting and you see a sky base and you want to get up there to check out the chests and loot and see what they have to offer really. You could normally bridge up there and build up or you could use the scaffold hack which essentially lets you tower up very quickly to the base. This will use up any and all blocks you have on your hotbar. This is also good if you want to try to get away from some crystal PVPers or people like that that are out to get you. I myself use this hack countless times going to get back up to the nether roof and highways. I combined these next two together, which is the Shulker Box Viewer Mod. This mod essentially makes it to where you can hover over a Shulker Box on 2B2T and see what's inside. But however, if you type in .peak with most of your hack clients, it can actually open up the Shulker Box without having to place it down. This is also good because if you have illegal items stored in that shulker box, the 2B2T plugins will actively try to erase those illegal 32Ks or items that you shouldn't have. So this hack is perfect if you don't want to open up shulkers and risk losing those items. Baritone is a perfect mod if you want to go somewhere without actually putting in the work. All you have to do is type in the commands and it'll simply go to wherever you want and plot a path. All you have to do is enable Kill Aura, give it some tools, and lots of food, because it's going to be a long road. Not only that, but Baritone has also been used in several projects for the server in its history before. Many people on 2B2T use Baritone every single day, not only for going places, but also for mining, mining out certain blocks, getting materials, and also, in some cases, if you're crazy enough, they designed Baritone for PvP, but that's for another day. I'm only halfway through my list here, but if you're enjoying this video today, please make sure that you leave a like and hit that subscribe button. A lot of people that watch my videos aren't actually subscribed to the channel, but hey, if you don't want to subscribe, no big deal. Now let's get back to the action here. Auto Armor is another great hack for 2B2T. Believe it or not, players that PvP in the server carry upwards to one to two spare sets of armor. The main reason for this is for how expensive Crystal PvP is. Longtime veterans of Crystal PvP know how efficient it is to use every little hack in PvP action. That's why Auto Armor is the hack for them. Taking the time to put on new armor can mean the difference between life and death. Just one in crystal has the same explosive charge as a charged creeper. Keep that in mind next time you see one. The next hack I have is the Jesus hack. I recommend you use the strict mode on this because of 2B2T's strict anti-cheat system. 
This allows you to walk on water with almost no problems. You can also use a horse to walk on water also. That and combined with the Entity Speed Hack, you can speed hack over water and get almost anywhere in no time. Just one quick thing though, before you get out of the water, make sure you take a quick dip in the water to prevent yourself from taking fall damage if you go back on land. Anyways, happy traveling. The avoid hack may not look like much, but I can assure you I use this hack almost every single day. This hack completely prevents you from running into cactuses, fire, and unloaded chunks to prevent you from taking any damage. I personally use this hack a lot whenever I'm in the nether to avoid taking damage from fire when doing long distance travels. I saved the best hack for last. I haven't seen one person on 2BTT go without using this hack in base hunting, in building, or overall anything. The search hack. I haven't seen anyone on 2B2T not use this hack at least once. Everybody uses this hack, from noobs to 2B2T legends. All you have to do is select the blocks that you want the hack to highlight and it will automatically address it with a tracer pointing to the block. This is great for seeing blocks that you wouldn't normally see, or you could use it to find blocks and bases for underground bases and sky bases. If you enjoyed this video today, please make sure to leave a like and hit that subscribe button. Also, be sure to follow me on TikTok, and if you're a friend of mine, be sure to go on my Snapchat and request to join my YouTube private story page to stay updated on when I'll be uploading new YouTube content and Minecraft content. But other than that, that's it for today's video, and if you want to play on 2B2T, be sure to use some of these hacks. And who knows, they may just save your life. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video.